Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm talking about something many drone pilots dream of capturing, those stunning shots above the fog or drifting through the cloud layers. It looks amazing, doesn't it? But there are some important safety tips and legal considerations you need to know before you can even think about hitting record. What makes flying above the fog or clouds so appealing anyway? Let's face it, foggy or cloud-filled scenes add a dramatic ethereal feel to your videos, making them incredibly popular on social media. Nobody wants to hear it, but first and foremost, safety is key. Flying in or above fog drastically reduces your visual line of sight. Most drone regulations require you to maintain unaided eye contact with your drone. If it disappears into clouds or dense fog, you're essentially flying blind. Different countries have different drone laws, but almost everywhere flying into clouds is either discouraged or outright prohibited. In UK, every remote pilot must be able to see their drone at all times. Similar rules apply in many countries. So the key points to take from this really is always check your local regulations and whether VLOS is a requirement. And if it is, there is a way around this. So let's just keep watching. You obviously don't want to fly higher than your legal limit. <laughs> So what are some of the risks involved here? Flying above or within fog can increase the risk of collisions with structures, other aircraft, even birds. Cloud can hide tall buildings too, power lines or ridge lines of mountains. Also, moisture from the fog can affect your drone's sensors. For instance, your downward facing landing sensor might get condensation on it, which might cause a problem when you're trying to come back through the fog, as your drone might think it's much closer to the ground than it is. You wouldn't want your drone cutting its propeller power when it's 30 feet in the air, would you? Condensation on your camera lens could also ruin your shots. So if you're set on capturing that iconic shot, here are a few pro tips. So firstly, pick a higher vantage point. If you can find somewhere that's already through the clouds, then you're not gonna have to fly through the clouds themselves to actually get that shot. You just need to fly over them. So it's much safer if you can do this. Obviously aids visual line of sight as well. Wait for the safe conditions. Fog can clear rapidly, but also it can go the other way around in that fog can come in quite rapidly too. So you need to be really careful what time you pick. It can be really useful to actually scout the area beforehand whether you're checking for high terrain on Google Maps, physically check the location, do a, a site visit before you intend to fly, so at least you know where those risks and power lines, etc., might be. Obviously, check the weather, monitor the temperature and humidity. High moisture can damage your drone's components. I would also recommend not flying in freezing fog because that could cause you a real problem because you might get ice on the props themselves and before you know it, your drone will be plummeting to the ground and you won't know what's happened. Remember always to check the CAA's drone code or your local drone code to check that you're not flying outside of the law. Flying above fog or clouds can yield breathtaking footage, but it's not worth risking fines, drone damage or accidents. Always put the safety first, stay within the law and use your common sense. So let me know, what do you think about cloud footage? Have you tried it or are you planning to? Let me know your experiences in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss my next drone video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time and always fly safe.